Good morning, day three. It is a mild 18 degrees Fahrenheit out there, no wind. Everything's pretty calm. The coyotes were really active last night. It was cool falling asleep listening to them yipping and barking and talking to each other and probably hunting all night. And then this morning when I got out of bed, I actually heard them again. So kind of a cool thing you hear when you're outside. I got some taters going, frying in the pan, got the coffee perking. Today, I am going to be joined by a couple friends. My good buddy Dan from Reboot Outdoors is coming out, and he's he's just like I am. He's got pike in the blood. He might be a brother from another mother, we don't know. You'll see, I'll let you guys decide after you watch the video, but this guy is a character. He's got a great veteran organization. One of my absolute favorite veteran organizations out there is operation reboot outdoors check them out when dan gets here i'm gonna let him tell you exactly what they're doing what they've been up to lately and just how much they've grown it just makes me feel really good to see how much they've grown since i first met dan and fished with dan and fished with his guys and it's just amazing to see their growth and how much hard work that he's put in his family's put in and also all of his volunteers and all of his guys have put in nice that is some nice snow coffee. I'm running low on water. I don't usually bring a ton of water out with me if there's fresh snow. I melted down oh, a couple pots of snow last night to have water for coffee in the morning and have some drinking water too. So if you're trying to save on weight, bringing gear in and stuff, you could bring less water than you're going to consume if you have a heat source and decent clean snow. Don't drink the yellow snow, whatever you do. It's pee. Anybody else put Franks on their red hot on their eggs? I put it on eggs, potatoes, fish. I kind of like the taste of it. There we have it, breakfast served. We got some fog today. Big old slab shiner, golden shiner. Well, I guess I used him yesterday too. Let him go do work, go get eaten. Wow, 
it's like this crazy freezing fog. It's super dense air, and the fog's almost frozen. It's it's uh, 17 degrees right now, so I don't really know what's up with that fog. Those heritage are pretty easy to set. You could set them with mittens on if you were wearing mittens. We're good to go. That should be a pike. Should be about a 15, 20 pounder. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, let's go do some exploring. New holes. All right guys, what I'm doing now is I'm, I just drilled a test hole in a spot where I thought might be good. And I'm kind of looking for belly or channel leading into these backwaters. And I'm out near the main body of water with this live scope looking at forward view. You could see, I'm gonna show you. All right, so straight, this is straight down. So we're in 30 foot right now. And ahead of us, 40 foot that way, it starts to come up. So it's shallower there. So I'm in a pretty good belly here, but as I turn it, I'm gonna rotate it. You can see all those crappy on the screen. I'm gonna rotate it. It's fallen a little bit, and then it falls a decent amount right behind us. So if I go 30 feet, that's a pretty good, that actually drops a little harder there. That's why this isn't showing up as clear, but you can see that it is deeper over there. So you're looking at like 35, 30 feet away and 60 to 70 feet away, 40 foot. So I'm gonna go out that way about 60 to, I'll go out about 60 foot and see if I can find that deeper channel and get us into about 40 foot of water. That's amazing. That's a five aught gamakatsu octopus hook. Plenty of point showing. Running it on steel leader today. 10 inch hole, eight inch bait. And we're only in about 20 here. We're right on the top of that hump. So I'm actually setting it down about 15 foot. So it's sitting up on top of that hump, like an easy target ready to be chewed on. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? You brought up an all-star team, huh? I forgot, brother, was your gas. Don't worry about it. But I got you a breakfast. What's up? Uh, I'll come back tomorrow anyway, so I'll bring it then. Sweet. How you guys doing? Good. How you been doing? Good. How's the ride in? No. Not bad. Nice. Not as bad as I Three thought it was going to be. Coming. Yeah, we got nice. a side-by-side side and another slide. Good. Did you guys get by those trees all right? Or did yeah, you to... well, we a broke one of them, and then we snapped the branches up high. <laughs> you didn't bring the chainsaw? We did. We did. Oh. We, did. we just, oh. like, we could get through that. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up! There's a rock. Bet you're the first one I see catch rock bass. There's a rock me. right there. That's what I'm looking at. I'm like, those are rock bass. Yeah. I'll show you. Laying the line out because he might take all that line back if he's a giant. How's he feeling? Is he big? Uh, he's fighting. Yeah. I still feel him. So you got steel leader, so you can be a little bit. Is he set? You think? Yeah, I think he's set. So you could you could horse him a little, but if he wants to take it, let him take it back down the hole. Okay. I got 40 pound floral on mine. Yeah, that's what I usually <laughs> run, but. Down here, it don't matter. No. He's taking it a little. Yeah. So if I feel him pulling, do yeah. I give it to him? Yeah, you can You can keep pulling him until until you can't pull any more. Mm -hmm. And then if you can't pull any more, then you let him take it. Like, like he will take it if he wants it out of your hands. So you kind of keep pulling as much as you can. He took a little line for that thing really? just going up. No kidding. Yeah, this could be big. Because you haven't even got to the rubber band yet. There's, all right, that's where it started. He took a pile of line. This could be a big fish. How, do you, you, know, you can't tell yet, right? I can't tell yet. No. He's on there, though. 
All right, so straight up with them. And usually around the hole, they give you a surge, so you might have to let them go. Okay. Well, I mean, usually let them on. I see the opposite. If they take a bunch of line, it's not the big ones. Oh, it's a good one. Ooh, oh, yeah. All right, let oh, them surge, Jesus, let them yeah. surge. Let oh, them go. Wow. Yep, just let them kind of, you're doing a good job just like that. Okay. Okay, we're going to, all right, now you can bring them back. Bring them back. There you go. Thanks. I'll, I'll, <clears throat> thank you. All right. Now, once his head starts, you could flop him right on the ice. Go ahead. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, baby! <laughs> nice. I'll go get my catch bag. <laughs> Woo! Over 10. Yeah. Yeah, big fat one. He had a hell of a fight on him. That's your first pike, right, Bob? Oh, yeah. Congratulations. We'll get a weight on him. That's a monster. You did all the work. No. Look how fat and healthy yeah, that thing is. Yeah, it is a nice one. All right, yeah. so these are the most, the two most important tools right here. Okay. The teeth are brutal. You do not want to get anywhere near them. Oh, wow. All right, so there's the hook. Uh -huh. They got some sort of bacteria or something on the tooth, so when it punctures your skin, your blood don't clot. It just keeps freaking bleeding. Oh, really? You don't want, the, he's hissing at you. Yeah, I never heard him do that. All right, you can pull that line right out, straight up, <laughs> yep. and you're free. Wow. All right, so let's get a weight on him. You want to weigh him? Yeah. He's over 10. He's, oh, he's got something big in his belly already. Let me what is push on it. That's the fish. I don't think that's yours. <laughs> I don't think he swallowed it that quick. Yeah. So what we're going to do is... Yeah. Get away from him, you. 11.29. 11.29? Oh, did you see the teeth in that? Yeah, I did. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's gnarly. Uh, so, you're gonna get his head started. He'll go... Yeah, he's got like a big crappy in there. He'll go on his own. Yeah. But I like to like hold their tail and just kind of get them started. Uh -huh. And then just let them slowly go down. He'll usually give you a nice big tail flap. So, okay. if you grab the tail there, you can kind of feel where you can hold them. Yeah. And then just start his nose in so he could breathe. As long as you get him past the gill plates, you could hold him all day right there. Yep. And then a little lower. And then, yeah, and then just kind of, there you go. Wow, nice <laughs> yes. Nice First friggin' <laughs> double digit pike for you. Yeah. First, First one pike, you bet. First pike and a double digit. Yeah, dude, yeah. that's friggin' yeah. awesome. Yeah. What a fight, huh? Yeah. That thing gave you, he gave you a hell of a run. So you want to keep him coming kind of as fast as you can. Okay. Like keep as much pressure on him as fast as you can until he says you can't. Okay. There's not much. No. No, he's keep him coming. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Just in case. Okay. A lot of times they'll come right at you. Oh, there he is. Yeah, it's a little guy. Bring him right up. Nice. <laughs> that's a good eater right there. There you go. Yeah. Nice. See, that's a pretty good eater size right there. You guys need a, a catch bag? Oh, Nothing. I think I just pulled it out. No easy. Yeah. Any size? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Holy. Whoa. Good one? Yeah, he's big. You gonna break his eight pound record? I'm just telling him between my daughter and reboot, I don't think I caught a fish last year at all. <laughs> my daughter loves it. Is he buried in? Not anymore. Whoa. So close. close. Five. Oh, I, you were using Joe's last time? Yep. Joe's is rigged. I ain't been back to the side. Mine's rigged to, to weigh light. Saving the bait, right? Yeah. Oh, that was a little one. Yeah, yeah. That bait wasn't doing that. Yep, it's all yours. Get a picture, Abe. Get that. a picture. Ooh, that feels pretty decent. Wow. Huh. Is this a good one? Yeah, pretty good one. I found if you can get it to kind of sit still, you know, show them it's there, and then just sit it still, they usually come eat like this one. No. <laughs> See that? You can watch them eat too. Oh, shoot! He was a good one. You see him? Yeah. He was about the same as that last one. I just had to get his head. Oh, there you are. There he goes. You see him? I saw you. You were over here, I'm I think. Right there. Yeah. There you go. You're right in front of one's face. 
if that's any better or not. Geez, you got a big one coming up. Is he on you? No, he's on me. If that's a crappie. Oh god, that's not a crappie. <laughs> Dude, I got into something here. I don't know what I got into. <laughs> That's awesome. Whatever. It's a little bigger than a crappie. If it's a crappie, we got a state record. Holy drag. My, maybe I got my first bass ever out of here. Dude. It's only three pound test. <laughs> Four pound test braid. You almost don't even dare to touch I it. I know it. It's got to be a bass, huh? Well, this is where we caught them before. Smallmouth and largemouth. I don't think I've ever caught a smallie through the ice. Oh, that ball. That's right. This thing Got to is... get you down to Canton in the sp oh, in March when to. we take my boys out there. This is 35, a monster. 35, 40 smallmouth in the day. This is huge. He's laying on bottom. Dude, this thing is <laughs> crushing me. We're into something. They just had a flag pop. Well, dude, this is crazy. I got that camera going there. I got something huge. Do you? Yeah, it's, um, we just wailed like three or four crappy, and then something big came up and just nailed this thing. I've been fighting him for a couple minutes. Nice. But I got light line. I'm trying not to do anything dumb. What could this be? A big, a big lodgy, I think. Think it's a big lodgy? Yeah. Three, four pounds. I'm hoping lodgy. he tires out sometimes. There must have been 150 fish on the screen when we first dropped. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That was a ton. Nice. All right, he's starting to. I'm gaining on the strain a little bit. He's starting to tire out a little. He's definitely tiring out, but I don't know how much I want to put on him with three pound test. It's three pound tip it. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Jesus. Had a good run. Yeah, there he is right there. See him? Yeah. It's got to be a pike, huh? I would think a pike would be... Uh... It'd be longer, right? Longer. It's running like a pike. It does run. It's like not a pike. pickerel. I wouldn't think it's a pickerel. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. I just want to land this fish, see what it is. I'm afraid to touch that drag. Oh, we're at the leader. It's a pike and it's big. Holy. It's big. He didn't like that, huh? Nope. I had him by the eyeball. Not the eyeball, but... Eight. Yeah. Eight, pound, eight nine pounds? He's That's over crazy. eight. It's a <laughs> freaking giant pike on a crappy stick. This might be the new state three pound record if I could land them. I'll let you go over. I'm just... If he happens to break and I need to shove... Yeah. He was stuck on the ice there. If I, just, if I can get his nose started. Holy. It's a pretty muted gap. Oh boy! Holy cow! <laughs> Rebound test! No way! What? What? Are you kidding We're me? We're using the wrong size size bait. Oh my god, guys! Look at that, just barely hooked. Oh my god, skin hooked! That drag system on that reel is awesome. Guys, I just caught the biggest pike I've ever caught on a jig rod. Oh Holy my crappy shit. rod, a three pound test. This thing's over 10 pounds, easy. Wow. Look at that monster. 
That is nice. Is that awesome or what? Wait, let me get a you got your bag with you? Yeah, I'll get a weight and I'll get a measurement on him, then we'll let him go. I mean, that thing is like, That's look at how thick he is. Put your, put your rod in front of it. Yeah. What a fight. Holy Right? I was thinking the same thing. He's not super long. Fat though. Yeah, he's crazy fat. He is 37. 37. 37 inches. What do you think he goes? He's got to go over 12, right? I'm going 12 and a half. Yeah, right in that range. Now, how would you do something about a state record like that? Just I don't know. That's a good question. That's probably the state record for line class for three pound test. Yeah, he hey, got trapped on either side of him. <laughs> 12, 20. 1237, 1232, 38. Let's see if it locks. Lock. 1234 is what it ended up being. Wow. Dude, God. look at that monster. He's thoroughly worn out, Abe. We're gonna get him back. Somebody else can enjoy him. That's right. Just barely fit through that hole. I'm almost out of breath. I'm so excited over this. <laughs> oh my gosh. 12.34 on three pound test. We were just talking that we didn't think they were back here. No, they are apparently. Wow, you know why they're here. Yeah, that's why, because all those crappies. 150 crappie that were here. Yeah, here he's ready. You guys ready? All right, see you later, big gator. Woo! Yes! All right, Abe! The slimy high five. Was that awesome or <laughs> what? Thank you for being, yeah. being there for me on that. Oh. Look at that beauty. Wow, we're going to eat good today, aren't we? Oh, yeah. What do you got cooking over here, Dan? Got some uh, hot Italian sausages, peppers, onions, and... Oh, some yeah. sub rolls. Pretty Nicole good. knew you cooked this good. She'd never cook at home. Tell, ask these guys what I did this morning cooking breakfast. Set off every single fire alarm <laughs> in the house. Well, that'll wake everybody up. <laughs> so you put the onions and peppers on the bottom, and this roll holds two hot sausages perfectly. There you go. Nice. Chow time. Guys, I am so lucky to be joined by Dan and his friends. We're having a great day out here. We chased a bunch of flags early. Got some pretty good fish on the ice so far. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're looking, really looking forward to this afternoon. It's probably the nicest day of the year we're ever gonna Absolutely. have. Absolutely, this is like spring fishing. It reminds me of spring fishing. Yeah, right it's like March. We could be down t-shirt weather. Yeah. But Dan is, Dan's in charge of Reboot Outdoors. I'm gonna let him tell you about it. I've been lucky enough to be around these guys for, geez, three years now and yeah. seeing the growth and the growth is just amazing they're doing such a good job but i'll turn it over to you bud. hey so i'm dan the president of operation reboot outdoors and what we do is we pull veterans leos and uh active service members from home on leave out in the woods and on the water take them out bring them on guided hunting and fishing trips for at no cost our organization has grown pretty pretty good over the last two years yeah we've gotten pretty big and uh it's been a, we we what we do is we do outdoor therapy and uh, basically it's just going out with a bunch of guys who have who are like minded and we have camaraderie and uh, just have a great day on the ice and we we're pretty successful. Yeah. At, just about every time when somebody catches a fish, Ben Rare says when nobody catches a fish. <laughs> but, yeah. So that's what we do. That's what reboots about getting out and enjoying company, showing each other that we're still here for each other, and. You know, we're just networking. A lot of guys leave here and they become buddies and they have groups of fishing. They uh, go out together and they do this on their own. Yeah. That's the ultimate goal is to get them out of their house and show them that they can like stuff. And kind of reboot back reboot. to Reboot, that's what life. it is. You know, like when your computer's uh, laggy or your phone's laggy, you reboot it. Yeah. Same same idea, but with with nature and veterans and anybody can do it, but we just, we just call it that way. That's what I always felt. When I was sluggish and stuff, I would, Say I need to go out in the woods, get you know, on a fishing trip or a hunting trip, and it would just recharge me and reboot me, and 
I showed everybody else what I did like some guys are brand new that come here they leave here whether they do that or not they can find other things like music artwork woodwork man that's their reboot it could be different than mine but I show them that you can still enjoy it and kind of encourage them to start doing that and they start feeling better and enjoying life again that's awesome yeah what's the best way so like if you're a veteran or or if a leo or or uh any, yeah any active service guy if you're feeling down or if you just want to be around some guys or learn the outdoors mm -hmm. or it doesn't you know you don't even have to reach out but the, the best way to do it is it usually happens through word of mouth but you can hit us up on our website uh which is ww operation uh, operation reboot org and uh facebook and on instant messenger as well just look us up it's operation reboot outdoors that's and it's, a, it's got obviously two combat boots with the mountains in the background that's us nice. so that's the best way to do it pm us email us and, or give me a call my number is all over the place i answer my phone for most guys if, it, if if i'm out doing this stuff i might get back to you the next day but i always get back to everybody awesome and and guys this is the the organization that i really like the best and and support there's so many great organizations out there and if you if you're looking for one to make some donations to or donate your time to give dan a look and uh and tell him i sent you i think it, it would make a it goes a long way and it makes a lot of uh makes a, a lot of sense to a lot of people and i've been out here personally with the guys and and seen how a day of fishing can change their life and it's pretty it's a pretty good thing to pass on yeah it looks like it's off to the side it's only 20 foot deep here there's a hump Yes, sir? Yeah. Nice. Cool. Now, this has got steel, so you can horse them. Oh, he didn't take any line, huh? Some you nice can horse fish. them if you need to. Good nah, one? I'm not gonna. It's not huge, but. Yeah. Feels bigger than the last one I got. Whoa! Whoa! Hello! Hello! Oh, you. That's all right, you got him. My rubber band got you, didn't it? Yeah. Not bad, he's a little guy. Same as the other one, yeah. just about. Felt bigger. Yeah, that hook, I think you can get the hook yeah. too, I think. It's right there. You still hooked them. Did yeah. Up that one? Oh, that's a big one. Let it go. Let it go oh back. My God. Let it go back. Let it go back. Let it... That's a fo that's 18. Ben, come over. Come over. That's the biggest one of the Here, day. can get you get him, get get him some free line, up, okay? Like free up some line for him in case he has to give it Hey, Ben! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Woo! That's a big boy! <laughs> wow, that's, ah. that's probably 20. Easy. <laughs> that's that a pig! Is. Woo! Yeah, oh. reboot! Ah. Right there, yeah. Abe. 30. 40. He's 40 inches. 20 inches around. Nice. 20 inches around, fellas, by that 40 long. So... That's a great shot. How's that look? Good? Yep. Yep, I'm good. Yep. I felt that shake. I felt that thing oh. bouncing. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Gator. Stinky high fives. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I'll give you again. Nice. Good job. Thanks, guys. That so the trap set them? Yeah, yeah. trap. I saw the trap go sideways. Yeah. I see Dan, Dan run. I've never seen that Dan run crazy. before. I said, why'd that trap move to bed? I'm like, why did it move? There's barely any line gone. And then all of a sudden I grabbed the line and my poof, like pulled my hand. I'm like, he's there, he's hooked. And then I felt the reel and the reel couldn't, wouldn't move. It's, it's off this way. Nothing? 20 pounds. Nothing yet. Jesus. He might be came, he might have came back to the hole. Fucked up because he just made two decent runs. Yeah. yeah. No, he's gotta be he's gonna you're gonna catch him. He's swinging him. right. You're gonna catch him. You're gonna catch him. Keep Watch. catching, keep catching. There we go. Yeah. He's there now. Any size? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Any size? You still haven't yeah. got back to where he started either. Come on, baby. Be a giant. <laughs> be a giant. We'll settle for anything. Get another one. Yeah. Ooh, that's, oh, that way. looks even bigger. That one's bigger. Come on, baby. Watch him turn. Fluoro, so be careful. No, no. no. This one's steel to... good stuff. Right. 
This is my big fish trap too. Is it feeling like a good one or just a regular? That's a good one. There's your starting point, 20 feet from there. Don't yacht him. Oh, no. He's Get coming. facing him. He's gonna come under you. Yeah, he's coming under you. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see him, Joe. I oh, saw him. He's fast. over eight. Over look, eight. It looked like an eight. I only got to see the nose. That's so weird that it cracked like that, right? When he was right there. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, hit the go. We're all standing around yeah. the hole. He hit it from the bottom. You think, you think yeah. it'd be real big? All right, you're gaining on the screen. He's decent. That's not bad. Big fish to crack the ice like that. That's a good old beacon. That's that's piece of fish. Yes, sir. Sure, nice. Man. Look how fat that thing is. Good job, bud. Wants some Gave you a good tug, didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Boots. I would buy like clothing like that. Like, yeah, what's some pikes? I would definitely buy clothing if it was made like that. Look at the teeth. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, did you see those teeth? Pikes. Look at these teeth. Dude. Look at those oh, teeth. Yeah. Look at those. Th this is the size right here when they have the sharpest teeth. <laughs> Holy Look at those teeth. Those are all razor blades. That's when you you want the bigger hook. Look, like, Look at those teeth. Look at those. Wicked. There you go. I'm slowly. <laughs> Watch that tail when he gets in there. He was <laughs> ready. Just like yeah. that. a boy, Joe. Good job. Nice fish, man. Nice. Not super big, though. I didn't feel that. Not a bad one. Not bad. He's probably close to 11. There's two more there. Oh. We got him fired up. Double. Decent. Oh no! Damn it! He, he freaking broke me off too. Oh. After. I had him. Even after that pike? Yeah. I've had him. Nice. Oh, tiny. Catch me that one with my hook in his mouth. Aren't they pretty? You look like you might have a decent there. On screen he looked all right. Oh yeah, nice one. He's coming. Double. Oh, fat belly. This one's a decent one. You got a good one? Feels that. Oh yeah, nice one. Gotta show the camera that one. That's almost, that's jumbo, isn't it? Big old high pollutant yellow perch. <laughs> high pollutant. <laughs> They're still there. That was a good hit. This is a pretty decent one. Where he's pretending to be. Oh yeah. Big ol' yellow perch. Did I get you? Nope. I got a little one on. Should I set? Ah, I can't resist setting. <laughs> Whoa, he's not that small. Nice one. There, see that big guy laying there? We gotta get him. Is, are you on him? Yeah, you're on him. <laughs> Do you see the release? Get him. Is he a good one? Yeah. Felt good at start, now he's kind of beat on off. Huh. I don't think that's the one that was down, the big one. No. That was the last one on the screen. Yeah. Another good one. Following. He was following. Oh, nice one.
that's a that's a pretty good sized crappie right there. Yeah. Should I step on my rod, my line, and pretend I'm fighting a giant? I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Watch this. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Here. Good luck, yeah. Another one? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh! He ain't want you to come video a uh, fish. You got another big one. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Get ready, Joe. I'm going to need somebody who knows I got you at the hole. Oh, nope. Oh, yep, sorry. Oh, we caught him. You're good, you're good. Over here, over here, over here, over here. Get over there. How long have you been fighting him, Danny? For a freaking while, bro. He's had like 12, this 13 is, this, runs. This is way past 12, 13. I'm, I'm getting tired. You sure he's over 10? I'm oh. getting tired. Dude. Yeah, I'm talking. Hold on. Too, right? He's still got light. He's still got a lot left in him. Oh, my God. That's oh. A, that's a skimmer. Did you hook him in the tail? That line's running. <laughs> it's self-hooked. It was another self-hooked self one. Somebody had these fools tightened up way too much. Nah. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was on here again. That might yeah, be the new well, trick. Yeah, you can thank me that for might be it's worth it. <laughs> this is going over 15. Line. 15, easy. I'm on like, seriously, 20th run right now. Yes. I'm probably the best, I'm probably the best there is. <laughs> he's there, he's getting close. We're at Lita. Let me see him. Oh my God, he's a funny line. You're good, you're good, you got it, you got it. I'm literally shaking right now. It's not even. A, it's not even a, that big. I mean, it's big, big. But muscle failure, huh? I'm you worried about this. Tired. Yeah. Watch out, Johnny. Watch you out. Need a watch leg out, massage? Johnny. Huh? You need a leg massage? No. I'm so sorry. Oh yeah. man, how big is this thing? He's a monster. A monster for sure. Dan will be using that thigh master tonight. <laughs> the old Kegels. <laughs> I think he might be 18, 17. 18, 5. I can't wait to. Yeah. Easy, easy. Oh, Jesus. That ain't oh. even six pounds. I just see him. Gosh, I told him we we're going to get another good one. What do you think, John? 14. 14, that's it? No way. He's, John's way off. Three and a half. John's way off. Jeez, he will not fat, go but he didn't look like he was that long. Oh, you got to look at him? I just yeah, he's fat. Him. He just didn't look like he was that long. Yeah, I don't want to. You got to look at him? Yeah. How is he? Don't go with it, rub that ice, I got man. it, I got it, I got it. Just relax. He's Chill just, out. he's just, he's just. Chill out. He's bigger than 14. I'll put money on it. I hope so. I, I haven't it's, seen it yet. It's only 33 inches. This, I fought a lot of 33 inch fish and this. He may not be the biggest fish in the. Oh, you get a small one. Oh, he looked, I saw an edge of him. I saw a fin. He's got a good fin on him. I think it's no, a, he's only I think 12. It's That's John. Yeah. Here he comes. Both you grabbing him, John? I'm going to try. Watch out, John. You're going to give me some room. Here. He's going to go again. Did you, you see him? I saw a tail. I didn't get a good luck. Watch. That was a piece. Here he comes again. Here he comes again. There he is. Look at his oh, head. Oh, yeah. Grab get him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Get him. Get him, boys. Get him. Get him. Yeah. 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 Woo. <laughs> that's how you play a fish, boys. <laughs> nice one. You tell oh, me yeah. that's what, that's what he was just barely hooked. 18.5. Is that over 15? Yeah, he's the same one. Yeah. 16, 17. Yeah, 16, 17. Look at the belly on that. So that felt right. How about 39? 39, 39 oh. incher. Do you know how to hold it? <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Look at that. That's a monster. Jeez, what's that from his tail? See that? Yeah. Rubbin. Rubbin, nubbin. You ready? Later, big oh. Gator. <laughs> yeah. Later, big Gator. All right, guys. Absolutely amazing day on the water. We caught all the dirtiest fish in the state of Maine. <laughs> all, all the most wanted list. We got pike, yep. giant pike, giant 
rock bass and we got good crappy too. Yeah, absolutely. And we even nailed some yellow perch. Yeah. Well, how'd you guys do today? What do you think? How was the day for I you? I think it was one of the better days in a long time. We felt like spring. It was a gorgeous day, the weather, and then we we caught what, at least five over double digits. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. And then we ha probably had a over a dozen fish day, I would say, for pike anyways. That's yeah. a great day. Jeez, that is a great yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> Polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, the last two days the bite was definitely off. I had a feeling either today or tomorrow was going to be hot, and yeah. we still might be hot tomorrow. That's going to be hot tomorrow. Yeah, we got a couple more guys coming yeah, out. Yeah, we got a couple guys coming tomorrow. We'll be down here about the same time, get it set up before our time, and then we'll hammer them again. Cool. Well, that's going to do it for these guys. These guys are heading out, taking the long, long trail ride yeah. out. I'm going to stay here tonight. Stay tuned if you want to see some camping tonight. Otherwise, if you're just here for the fishing, peace out. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Thanks, guys. So I didn't bring a lot of water just because water weighs a lot i brought in two gallons and that doesn't last very long when you're drinking coffee and tea and drinking water and using it to clean up a little bit so the nice part is with the snow you always got enough water to drink i never really drink lake or river water just because i just don't trust what's in it you know fish poop in it and they also have sex in it and that's pretty gross but also you got beaver and otter and mink and everything in it so I mean, you could boil it down and filter it for sure, and I'll drink it if I if I need to. But when I have snow, I take the snow, I pack the pots really, really dense with it and boil them down until I have water, move them to a jug, and then I repeat that process a couple times so I have enough water for a couple days. So that is how I am making some drinking water. Pro tip for you, don't melt or drink the yellow snow. Bad. One thing I've learned from doing these winter camping trips is make the meals easy, you know, like cooking deer steaks pretty easy. Uh, anything that you can do in a pot or a pan is the way I look at it. Soups are always good, stews are always good. I got, for tonight, I got one of these things. Let me see what the other one looks like. I got a couple of these things at the Walmart. They're for like campers and stuff and they're super light and they pack good but i don't know if they're any good or not this one is mountain house adventure meals biscuits and gravy buttermilk biscuits with gravy and pork sausage freeze-dried no artificial preservatives or flavors or colors that sounds pretty darn good it's got two servings it's ready in 10 minutes you just add water and there's no extra cleanup so that sounds like a pretty good idea used before october 2050. Okay, we can do that. Open package, tear and notch, remove and discard oxygen absorber. Carefully add a cup and a half of boiling water. Well, we're not going to do that. We're just going to put enough in that we think it's enough. Stir it carefully, then close the zipper and wait five minutes. Stir it again, then wait another four minutes. Well, we can try it. In the meantime, we might pound some Demi more. Beef stew, it's always pretty good. But yeah, we'll try that. We'll try that tonight, see if it works. All right, we're boiling. About a cup and a half. I don't know, that was pretty close. And in the meantime, open up a can of Demi Moore and dump that into you. Just an absolutely amazing day, guys. I, I'm sitting here just trying to replay it all through my head, and there's just too much. My memory card is full, and I got a couple memory cards I got to change out in the, in in here. It was just one of those awesome days where just about everything came together perfectly, and they don't happen often when you're in the hunting or fishing or trapping or anything outdoors but when they do they just oh man you just want to do it every day like that it started with cody getting his first ever pike and 
double digits right away. 11 and a half for, he pulled it on one of my traps, which really makes me feel good, you know, that I showed him how to set it up and, and how to set it. And, and I kind of walked him through the process and he just did a great job, which I don't know, there's something about sharing the outdoors and sharing successful outdoors that just makes it a hundred times better than going out and even doing it by yourself. You know, that's enough to call it a great day right there. And then Ben catching that absolute slob and Danny catching a giant too was just awesome. You guys, if you don't know Danny, which a lot of you probably don't, he is just works tirelessly for that organization. He's the president of it. He started it. If you're not, like I, I got a chance to fish with him a bunch of times and the vets that come, the veterans that come and the Leos that fish with them and even the active guys they see them for like one day and they just realize it's just a really good class act organization and everything's set up for them the traps are set up the baits ready the food's ready the machines are all ready there's just so much work that goes into it and i watched this guy do this day in and day out pretty much year round raising a family and just doing such a great job and then i never see him pull a fish you know, pull a trap himself because he's just, he just would rather see somebody else do it. And, you know, if he's got veterans, he makes sure that every single one of them, if he's got three out there or six out there, you know, he rotates those guys through so they get a chance and an opportunity to catch a big fish. And he seldom ever gets a chance to pull one. I think I fished with them, I don't know how many times, six times, seven times, and I've never seen him pull a fish today. So, till today. So it was awesome. It was awesome to see him catch a big one. And he was like pretty nerve, nervous and nerved up. And if you veterans are watching this, you guys know why. It's because he gives so much flack to these guys. And he, he doesn't give them an inch, you know, and he's hard on them. And they like that. And, you know, in a good way, he gives it to them. And he knows if he messed up and muffed that fish or lost it or broke her off in the hole that he'd have had about 10,000 phone calls giving him a hard time. So he was nervous. I mean, you guys go back and watch that clip. He was nervous. His legs were shaking. His hands were even shaking a little bit. And he was saying some things that you don't normally hear him say. And the fish got bigger. The fish got smaller. And then he landed it. And, you know, oh, he's back again. So I just love the guy. And I love the organization. And I've seen the good work that that he does and the organization does. So... It's one that I'm fully behind, so seeing him catch that fish, I mean, that's a day maker in itself, too. There were so many awesome things. Catching those rock bass again and jigging with Abe for hours today and having success doing it. You know, we caught nice yellows. We caught big crappy. We caught those rock bass, and Abe is, like, really into jigging. He's a kind of a technical guy, and he's just another guy that would just give the shirt off his back for anybody. That's, you know, that in itself just just fishing next to Abe for a day, you know, I consider that an honor in itself, you know, and, and just a blast and how much fun we had. And then I hooked that giant pike on three pound test with a little tiny noodle jig rod. And I don't know how long, I can't wait to watch the footage and see how many minutes that fight was, but what a fight that was. And I thought it might've been a bass at first, maybe a small pike, maybe a pickerel that just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I thought I had them worn down a couple times and, and I was able to land them. I, I stuck my arm in twice and just, I mean, that in itself is just an amazing day. And to see these guys get their first fish and Joe caught that, that good pike too, is just, wow. It's just one of those days where I'm going to go to bed tonight and I know it's an hour after my head hits the pillow. I'm still going to be awake, you know, rolling these things through my head. And I hope you guys as viewers get that opportunity to have a day like that, whether it be hunting or fishing or, or just introducing somebody to the outdoors because it really makes it all worthwhile. Well, I'm going to drive some dinner into me, guys. Thanks a million for for viewing and, and uh, commenting and hitting that like button and all that stuff. It really helps the channel and it helps me. And, and I just really appreciate you guys. You know, I can't get over how well the channel's doing we just passed 20,000 subscribers and it blows me away because it's me with a gopro or two or three gopros whatever it takes and and just out here just doing my thing and really enjoying it and 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 i enjoy sharing it with you guys you know as much as i enjoy doing it so huge thank you for that and 
I'm excited again for tomorrow. Dan's coming back down. Ben's coming back down. And I think we have a couple more veterans coming down with them. And hopefully we get on some good pike again tomorrow and have half as good a day as we had today. It would be a huge success. I don't know about this dinner. This one looks like cat food. And the other one looks like dog food. I definitely put in a little too much water. My measuring eyeball wasn't very good. <laughs> If somebody down south saw that and called it biscuits and gravy, they'd probably have a heart attack. There's the dog food. Check out what's next. Yes, if you want Who's going to grab the fish? Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Get, get his head up. Get his head up. Good, good. Yeah! yeah. There we go. Woo! here in the old smoke shack, Dan. Yeah, uh, we got some uh, venison burgers going. We got six deer burgers and six bear burgers going. Come on, boy. All right. Okay. Pretty fresh. Nice one, That's one. Stay closed now. That's a good one. Yeah, we're gonna watch the Andy Bop one. Here we go. Yes, man. That's my man. Yes, 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 Nice one. All right, now bring him up. Yes, sir. New PB. See if he waves goodbye. Nice. This is actually a landlocked salmon. Okay. Uh, yeah, nice big scales. Pretty good eaters. We caught him the other day. Nice. Oh, there's a good one. 